So for the first part of this question, what I've done is I've just copied down the table. You don't obviously have to do that, but uh, just for reference. And we've got to calculate the midpoint then of this class interval, which is the time taken to do the Sudoku puzzle given to the nearest minute. So the midpoint between 9 and 12 Technically, it's between 8.5 and 12.5, but all you've got to do is just add these two values together and divide by 2. So that midpoint then is going to be 10.5. We'll just put that in red there just to highlight that we needed to find that. Okay, so that's part A, but in part B, we've got to use linear interpolation now to estimate the median. So First of all, because we're dealing with continuous data, I want to work out what the position of the median is. So for part B then, the position of the median. Um, well, we've got 30 values if you were to add up the total frequency here. 30 values, and so because it's continuous data, we don't have to add one to the number of values that we've got. We only do that when we've got discrete data. So I'm just going to take 30 and divide it by 2. So we're looking at the 15th value. Now the question is, where is that 15th value going to be? Well we can see if we come down here we've got a total of two values between the, in, well in this class interval here, 7 in this class interval, that's a total of 9 values so far taken care of. 9 and another 5 is 14, so the 15th value must occur in this class interval 16 to 18. So I'm going to put that down as a little number line if you like. Um, if you're unsure of how I do this, just go on my website, look under estimating the median and quartiles. Now, it's in this class interval 16 to 18, which really goes from 15.5 to 18.5. So I'd put that on the top there, 15.5 to 18.5. And we're looking for the 15th value. Now we know that up to 15.5, that's the lower end of this class interval there was a total of 2, 7 and 5 values. A total of 14 values. So the 14th value would have taken us just up to the 15.5. And then when we get to the upper end here, 18.5, we've got a total of 2, 7, 5 and 8 values. That comes to 22. So if we go to the end here, that would have been up to 22. Now we want the 15th value, so 15 values, let's just say the 15th value, okay, is this one here, which is the median Q2. So in order to get that 15th value, what I need to do is I compare regions. I compare, for instance, this width here with this width across there and then that is equal to comparing say this width across here with the width across there. So if I set that out as an equation what I've got for this dotted width is Q2 minus 15.5 and I compare that to the width below, which is 15 minus 14. And that is exactly the same, in the same ratio, as this top width, the blue dotted width, that goes 18.5 minus 15.5. And I compare that to the solid blue line below here, that width going from 14 to 22. So that width will be 22 minus 14. 
So we just need to rearrange this for Q2 and you've got Q2 equals this value here. We'll just write it in again, 18.5 minus 15.5 divided by 22 take 14. This value here, 15 take 14 is 1, so I'd multiply that to both sides. That would leave me with Q2 minus 15.5, and if I add 15.5 now to both sides, that's what I'd get for Q2. And if you work this out, you'll find that you get 15.875 exactly. So, there you go. There's my estimate, my estimate by linear interpolation for the median Q2. All right.